Have you ever wanted to learn how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game? Well, you found the right video because I'm gonna teach you how to make one. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you need to do is download Unity Hub. Um, the link is in the description for the download. And once you have Unity Hub installed, find a category called installs, install editor. And I recommend either of these versions, the 2022 or the 21. I don't care, just download either of them. And once, once you pick the version you want to install, click install. Make sure the Android stuff is checked. And then click continue. Once it's done installing, go back to projects, new project. And name this project whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it tutorial. And make sure you select 3D and create project. All right, so once your project is loaded, um, delete main camera. The reason why you want to delete main camera because it's going to ruin the gorilla rig. So just delete it. All right, so now you got to go to edit, project settings, XR plugin management, install XR plugin management, and just wait. All right, so once it's finished, um, find the monitor tab and um, select open XR. And then you'll see this window. Um, restart the editor, click yes. All right, so once it's done restarting, um, click on the Android settings and check Oculus and wait for it. All right, so now go to open XR, um, render mode, multi-pass and multi-pass for this one too. And go to Oculus, multi-pass and change this to multi-pass and go back to open XR. Um, go to the window settings and um, find the plus, click it and select and click on the valve index controller profile and the Oculus touch controller profile. Go to the Android settings and do the same thing, but only the Oculus controller. All right, so now we're gonna click on the plus and click add package from git URL. Type exactly what I'm typing, okay? So, um, type com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. The spelling should be exactly like this. And once you're done, click add or just press enter. And wait for the package to install. All right, so now once it's done installing, go to XR Interaction Toolkit, go to samples and import starter assets. And once it's done, you'll see a folder called starter assets. All right, so you see all of these presets. Each of them, you're gonna click add. So add everything. And now once you're done adding everything, go to edit, project settings, preset manager and find and find a category called controller input action manager um if it says right then type right and this one's the left and now once you're done um go to the player and create a key store manager all right so you need this key store to update the game so create new Don't ask why I name it that. And create a password. All right, so once you're done confirming the password, um, type in your name over here and add key. Yes. And there we go. All right, so now you want to make a map for your game. So click window, um, package manager, and click Unity Registry and type Pro Builder. You need this to build maps and other stuff. All right, so once you start installing, um, exit this, go to Tools, Pro Builder, Pro Builder window, and drag this next to the inspector. And now you gotta make your map, new shape, make it a plane, and make it a square. All right, so now you gotta click face selection and select all the faces in here and click subdivide faces two times. And now once you're done, go to vertex selection and select 
the edges over here click this hold shift while you're clicking all the edges here and go to scale tool and scale them like this and now you gotta select these um hold shift there you go and now just scale them like this and now i gotta select these and scale them like that all right so now you're gonna make the walls for your map um go to edge selection and select the edges hold shift i always say that just just to make sure And now once you're done selecting all the edges, um, press Control E on your keyboard. Um, it makes some walls over here, as you guys see, there's some walls. And drag it up to here, and then press Control E once again. And make this a little small, like that. And press Control E one more time. And there you go, there's your forest map. All right, so we're not done with the map yet. So press Control E once again. Go to Scale Tool and make make it big like this. Don't make it too big because it's gonna look ugly like this. Like it's too big. All right, so now um, press Control E once again to make the walls and press it one more time and make it big like this. And there we go, you got your forest map over here, guys. So now you need textures, so I recommend going to the website called Ambient CG. Um, search for some grass texture and the wall texture. I recommend this one because this is the best, it's one of the best grass textures because most fan games use this, like Seabus, Capuchin, and just download it. But now you wanna find a wall texture. So once it's done downloading, um, click on your grass texture find the color image and drag it to your downloads cause that's the right one. Right click, import new asset, go to downloads, click your grass texture, hold control and select the other one. And now um, click import. All right, so I forgot one more thing to do. So go to face selection and select the ground. All right, so once you're done selecting the faces for the grass texture, um, go to pro builder and click detach faces and there you go and just drag in your grass texture over here as you can see it created a folder called materials you got to double click materials and click your material turn down the smoothness and now you're gonna make now you're gonna put on your wall texture so drag in your wall texture and there we go also turn on the smoothness to every texture you have unless you want to make it shiny all right now we're finished with our map now we gotta add multiplayer and the voice chat to our game go to this website unity asset store um the link is in the description so download photon unity networking so add to click add to my assets accept and open in unity open unity editor and click import and click import all right so if you see this window don't close it okay so go back to your google or whatever browser you use and and go to photon website it's in the link in the description and um we're gonna sign in and once you're done signing in go to dashboard and then gonna click create new app um change this to pun um i'll name this tutorial and click create create new app again this time make this to voice and name it whatever you want all right so once you're done find the app you made that says pun on top and as you can see it has an app id so click on it and Press Control C, go back to Unity, and to paste, press Control V, and set a project. All right, so now you gotta download Photon Voice 2 and import. All right, so now go to this website. It's in the link in the description. Click on the package, right click, import package, custom package, and click on the Photon VR. 
package and as you can see it has all these crap here and click import and one last thing um go to this website lemming made this thing in github it's the gorilla Tad locomotion you may be asking where do i download it well if you see this green green thingy that says code click on it and download the zip file now once it's done go to your downloads go to the grill locomotion zip file drag the package to the downloads yes replace it oh well, whoops all right so now import package and put the gorilla locomotion here and wait ignore and search gorilla rig and there's your gorilla rig guys there you go all right so one more thing you need to do is go back to your assets go to resources photon vr prefabs um drag all of these to your gorilla rig and go to your photon vr manager um the head is the main camera and make the left hand your left hand controller make the right hand your right controller go back to photon and copy and paste the ids all right so now let's go play test it so click the play button here all right so we got a game here so as you can see it's working and we got a little parkour here as you guys see whoa what we will try again ah! oh! 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 Yeah! and as you can see this is working a double walls and we can pinch climb <laughs> all right so if you think this ah! all right so if you think this tutorial is helpful please like and subscribe and please join the discord all right so if you want to download my game capuchin runners it's in the pinned comment it's officially in itch.io now and if you don't if you don't know how to download games from itch.io i'll give you a tutorial in the pinned comment bye